This question comes from Noah S. Um, I am doing a computer uh, science, computer science bachelor's degree, and I've completed the computer science component of the degree, as well as a minor in mathematics, uh, and after the semester, a minor in physics. I have enough credit uh, points to complete a major in either math or physics. I love various areas of computer science, but mostly I love things that are challenging. I love cryptography, algorithm analysis, and compiler design, which makes me lean toward math, but I am also very interested interested in quantum computing, which is more on the physical side, in which my university has a whole research department. I don't have much real-world experience, so I guess I'm asking overall, which will be more ho ho uh, helpful in the world of computer science. Oh, so the old question, what other major do I go for? So he's got the computer science component. So he's going and getting his bachelor's degree. He's got the computer science component. So from computer science, do you do physics or do you do math? Um, and I would argue if you've done computer science, Science, I would go for math. If you had done computer engineering, I would go for physics, but you didn't. You went for computer science. Um, so a big thing that comes up a lot is a lot of people don't realize that that math is still a valuable uh, degree to have. You know, in the modern age, when everybody has calculators, when all this stuff is out there, you know, people think, well, wh why do you need a mathematics degree? Why is that valuable? And the reason it's valuable is because some somebody at some point actually has to come up with the original equations, right? So whenever you type information into a computer and it pops out with a number, uh, or whenever you these functions or whatever and it pops out with something right um, once that function has been created you use it a gazillion times but nobody ever thinks about it. at some point somebody actually has to create that original function and so that's why mathematics is very valuable is because if you have really in-depth understanding about how all of the uh, all the the math equations and all that kind of stuff works then you can be the one to develop that kind of stuff um, and it's worth a lot of money again when you start talking about things like vector graphics, when you start thinking about uh, a lot of what the programs do, uh, this becomes very valuable. Again, you, I mean, you have to be thinking about now nowadays. Um, again, you think about what are what are the really valuable programs that you're most likely going to be working on doing. You know, it's easy to think about Angry Birds you're probably not going to create the next Angry Birds, right? It's easy to think about Facebook, but you're probably not going to create the next Facebook. Uh, but the things that there is a lot of value in, like right now, high-frequency trading, um, the like basically projections, all this kind of statistical stuff about if these two number... If this number moves up and this number moves down, that means this m number here is going to do what? If these 20 variables move in one direction, these three variables move in another direction, and this one variable does something, what does that mean for this, right? That's the kind of stuff that is very valuable, and that's where you need math. It's, it's not simply about knowing how to create a variable. It's not simply about knowing how to, to use a function. It is about literally how do you build those functions. So when you have all of these different balls in the air, it will spit out an answer and say you should do X, Y, or Z. So I would say math, uh, math will do you much, 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 much better than physics. Um, the, the two reasons are is because if you're actually doing computer science, science, math is huge. Again, really, if you want real money, things like high frequency trading, um, all of this kind of like computational statistical crap, uh, there's a lot of money in there. So that's the first thing. And then, then functionally, math fits with computer science uh, more than physics does. Uh, so again, even if you're doing uh, SQL statements, even if you're doing like database stuff, under understanding mathematical equations allows you to do that SQL a lot easier. You know, if you're used to that kind of mathematical mindset, that will help you out. Now, physics would be useful if you're on computer engineering. So computer science is the people that develop compilers, the people that do all the software stuff. Computer engineering is the people that create the hardware, so the people who actually create the graphics cards, the, the people that actually create the motherboards, that kind of stuff. So that is a more physical thing, right? You're actually dealing with physical components. So if you're dealing with the physical components, then physics might be very useful for you so that you understand thermodynamics, so that you understand you know, heat loss and a bunch of stuff I don't understand, right? And the reason is, is because you're dealing with materials. You're dealing with metal. You know, if aluminum can dissipate heat at a rate of X, um, and this material over here can dissipate heat at a rate of Y, 
maybe instead of using a, an aluminum heat sink, you use a, whatever the hell this is, this heat sink is, and so on and so forth, uh, physics, uh, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so yeah, computer science. Um, really, I would argue, I would argue it's almost a no-brainer. Um, I would go with mathematics. Um, yeah, if I was computer engineering, I would go with physics. But basically, that that that's how it would it would it would go. Uh, I would I would argue. Yeah, I think that's what I would argue. <laughs> that's is what I would argue.